Hello and welcome to another video of Dark Souls. What? Dark Wood? <laughs> uh, anyway, even though this game has some elements of Dark Souls, whatever. Um, okay, so I was thinking, I, I'm pretty sure there's no point in me going to the... Well, it's exactly in front of it. Cottage near the junkyard. I don't know exactly if this is the place that I have to go. I don't think so. Okay. Now... <sighs> hmm. Okay, now I have read what I have to do. Do I have to do something at the sawmill for this to happen? So there is an event um, that has to do with the sawmill. Which leads to things. But from what I've read, it's completely random. So um, it has to do with the wolfman. But I don't want to spoil it in case it happens. Anyway, so... The best scenario is that I can complete the game in this video. Uh, meaning, I know what I have to do. The only question is, can I do it? Is it the cottage near the junkyard, though? I can't remember. There is a cottage called Cottage, I guess, um, that I have to find because it's, it contains the main the main quest people. Um, so basically, you can complete the game through two means, but both require you to find the oxygen tank. Oxygen tank. Um, bah, 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 bah. I don't think it's down there because that would be too easy. And I think the uh, random algorithm is very, you know, it's it's guided basically because the village is always spawning next to your hideout. Um, and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure <clears throat> the main quest thing is somewhere down here. Um, because this little dent there, I know exactly what that is, and I don't even need to go there. I don't even want to go there. Even though that's a cool area, you know, but um, honestly, I only have two lives left, and uh, I don't want to waste too much time um, spending too many nights um, on just basically random bullshit that can kill me. So I want to head to the exit as fast as possible. So I think I want to go to the south, uh, west, I think. Um, if not to this cottage. Is this the cottage? I don't think so. Is it? Mm -hmm. Whatever. And um, yeah, there's two, ex two paths to complete the game. And in my opinion, you know, both are equally terrible. So, in case, in, in terms of like story, because not terrible in, in, in a bad way, but it's like, you know, in games like these or like Silent Hill or whatever, like, there is no happy ending. You know that. So, uh, you can just choose between the worst and the w worst B side ending. You know what I mean? So another ruin. I actually don't even want to bother with uh, scouting uh, these places anymore because I have everything. And all I need to do is head to the exit. Oh, what's this? Die. This is an important location. There are two locations that can lead you to the exit. Let's just check this corner so I have this. So I'm safe that this isn't where I need to go. What the hell? Nothing over here. Okay. Yeah, fuck it. This isn't uh, the path that I need to go. 
I should have taken some pills with me so I can just um, run more. Oh, pistol man. I heard you. Go down here. I heard something. I don't like it. Anyway, so let's uh, walk from here. The area that I need is called Cottage, and the quest I already completed. Is this Cottage? Oh, this red shit again. I hate it. It's not marked on the map. There something here? No. Okay. So there are two ways to complete the game. And honestly, I would rather complete the game the way I, I know better, I think. Worry. Okay, this is the location that I just avoid because it's completely irrelevant to the plot of the game. And there's a bunch of enemies there that aren't too hard. But the thing is that mm, most of these things are added to the game to just have variety, I think. And for people who don't know it, they just walk in there and, you know, bumble around or whatever. But it's in in, in actuality, it's just a, t a waste of time, basically, because you don't need it. Your days are short. And uh, there's nothing to get there. No quest item or whatever. What's this? Ah, the holes. Okay, cool. This is a shortcut to your house. <gasps> Oops! Oops, I thought it's a, it's a savage. Oops. Sorry. Um. Oops. Okay, I can just go through. Even though I should go back because that's the way to the exit. <laughs> Oops, I killed them. This is also really awesome, but let's see if I can find it. You see like there's a ton of holes here. We need the flashlight for that. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. My holes! Now you know what's making these holes. Don't think you can kill it. And you don't have to, so whatever. It's so awesome, man. This is the biggest uh, plus for this game. It's like this. Dude. Don't even... Holy shit. Oh, yep, that's why I want to leave this area as soon as I can. Yeah, the greatest strength of this game is to like lure you in with all the weirdness and randomness and stuff. And then... You know, it it this is one of the the few games that actually grips you. Like, there's the radio tower, which is an extremely important area, but I I think 
either I cannot enter it or I don't want to enter it right now. It's still pretty early in the day. Is it the junkyard cottage that I have to go to? Let's find out, I guess. Yeah, this game is really, really, really awesome. But in my opinion, this non-linear thing that they have done here went a tiny bit too far, if you ask me. Is this the radio tower? I think so. Is it? It is. Do I want to continue? No. I want to go to the cottage first. This is potentially the exit of the game, I think. But I can't remember what you have to do there. So instead, I just want to do the other thing. So this is where the cottage is, I guess. Get out of the water, I hate it. Uh, let me find it, I think. Huh? Is this where I have to go? What the hell is this? And yeah, sometimes the game isn't really clear about what you can and cannot enter. I don't even need this mushroom. Huh? Where's the cottage? Huh? Is this this weird snail thing or whatever? Am I stupid again? Yeah, it's the snail thing. This is also one completely optional thing, I guess. There's like people here that turn into snails. Oh, it's so disgusting. And awesome at the same time. Hello, snail. Can I enter? Ah, oh, you can break the house, I think. Hello, Mr. Snail. You look lovely. Um, blah, blah, blah. Did you hear that voice? Um, no, Mr. Snail, I did not hear anything. You can live in my home. You'll like it. You need. You just need to cut me loose. Come back tomorrow, and I won't be here anymore. You have to cut me loose. How? Legs are numb. Yeah, yada yada. You are a snail, dude. Hmm. I have to cut him loose? Do I have to hit him? I can't remember. Yes, I'm going home. It's the road home, after all. The story of this game is so awesome. Hand? Shed key. Does he mean that I have, he said I had to have to cut him loose? Do I have to hit him? I don't think so. Tomorrow I will be gone. 
So he, he, he means that I have to come back tomorrow, just like that? I think so, but I hope I do not have to. Where is this stupid ass cottage? Maybe over there. So let me just try and find a way over there, I think. Again, I don't need any items anymore. I just need one last quest item and that's it. I'm pretty sure. And I don't even have to f um, complete the quest to get that item. Because I already did that. And if that person doesn't want me to give the quest item, I can kill it and loot it from its dead fucking corpse. So I don't care at about anything anymore. I hope. I think. I guess. I don't know. Ah, this is the trade from the rocket, I think. This is so cool. I am pretty sure... There is an ending, you know, it's kind of like in the in the Super Nintendo Zelda game, when you fi finish the quest, or the game, you get like, um, for every person, you get like one line of like what happened to that person. And that's basically the, the only thing that changes for all these quests that you have. So, or, you know, maybe there's some other minor thing that changes, like you see a different image or whatever. Um, and you might care about that if you... Um, is this the... What is this? Um, maybe this is the cottage? The cottage cheese? Where am I? Old shed. I just found a key for this. So this is one other area where I can complete the game, I think. Where is the cottage? Uh, the shed, though. Can't see it. Is it over here? There's a tractor. Is this where the shed is? Ah, there's uh, flowers on the floor. Nice. Okay. I think I want to equip the shotgun for this. Huh? Wrong way? Oh, there they are. Let's eat the bread, take the gasoline. Oh, I need a code for this. I thought I need a key because I found a shed key, but I guess not. Okay, let's continue to the right, uh, east. Mm -hmm. To see if maybe this is the cottage. Ah, Swamp Cottage. Awesome. This is the location that I need. Okay, so... It's probably that. I hate this red light. Go away. Oh, god dang it. It's already getting nighttime, man. Fuck this. Where is the entrance? Wait, I cannot get inside? Wait, there has to be an entrance somewhere. Uh oh. Oh, what the fuck? Gas tank. Okay, I have to collect these bear traps. Ok, 
Okay. Another one. Okay. What time is it? Eighteen. Okay. One more. There is a broken down generator that I have to repair. Can I do it? Yes. Nice. There are two more bear traps next to me, I think. Take them. Let's continue. Turn this on. Okay. In here, there should be... You can come in. Nice. Hello. These are the elephants, because this type of gas mask is in Poland uh, called elephant, I guess. Who are you? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Um. Okay, now the thing is that this family has lost a child, and the grandma has a child in her shed, and I already freed that child. Did you take... what? No, I freed that person. Went out and never came back to granny. Find him and bring him home. <sighs> now... Key to his room. I already found him. I think... Now, the thing is that in the small shed that I just was, um, the code the child knows the code for that shed but i don't need to get inside the shed because the quest item in there is the same quest item that i get from completing this quest i think i don't know i have no idea now let me wait a tiny bit here okay so it's already 18 so meaning I can't complete the quest, I can't get home on this day because it's already very late, so I have to spend one more night, because I can't just kill this family, <laughs> which sounds horrible if you say it out loud, but it's a game, so come on. I could just kill this family and take the gas, the oxygen tanks that they have and then complete the game with that but if i go back because i all i already have to spend one night um These drawings don't have anything on them. Okay, I have to get back. Wait, I can go through the holes. That's much faster. Okay. Ah, fuck this. Run, 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 run. Let's use my ability. Run, run, run. Okay, um... Now, the thing is that I don't know exactly how, but, um, if you... All you need to complete the game is this oxygen tank. I don't remember what you need for the radio tower or anything really. 
about that. So this one was circled. Yeah, this is where the granny is. That's I think that's what that circle is. Again, I'm sorry if I uh, seem like a complete moron, but I am skipping most of the game to complete it in a timely fashion because uh, I've tried to make this uh, run as efficient as possible without screwing myself constantly. And I think for the most part I have done so. So, you know. Oh, awesome! Someone has been through my stuff. Through my stuff. There's a note from the wolf. Ha 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 ha! This is awesome. Very very late, but awesome. You've tricked me, meat. You've ignored my request, and this action has its price. Awesome. What does he tell me? It's my fucking forest. Old sawmill. This is the event that I talked about. So the wolfman takes basically half your stuff, and even then, I actually don't really mind that. Dang it, my time is here. And I wasted my flashlight, awesome. Um, anyway, I have some lanterns left, so not so bad. Anyway, um... Now, the next day, I can go to the sawmill and kill the wolfman, because he's a dickhole that took, took my stuff. Make a bear trap. I already have one. And then I can get the... Oh no. These birds mean that there is a banshee. And the banshees spawn like little baby banshees or whatever. Alright, so the next day I can get to the sawmill, get the assault rifle. That's kind of the kind of a bummer that I get it so late in the game. But um I guess I don't have to hurry that much. That's a weak enemy. What's making these footstep noises? Oh, it's a bug. Uh oh, it had darkness on it. Okay, so some enemies have like this weird darkness on them. And you had to have to shoot the darkness off, basically. It's not like in uh, Alan Wake, where the darkness is like some extra thing. Another bug. I don't know what they're doing, but I don't. I don't like it. Hello. How do I switch? You know what? Let's check. Uh, the, the, the cycle? E, I guess? Effects cycle? Is there anyone, any other thing? E. Ha! That's a weird mechanic. Why not scroll wheel or something? Anyway. Don't want to nitpick everything to death. Alright, so luckily the wolfman thing happened because that's a pretty cool event. Even though I thought it only happens uh, every morning, 
That's why I was kind of concerned that it doesn't happen. I thought it only happens, you know, whenever it's next morning. But yeah, that's cool. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm like, if I wouldn't play on hardcore, I would probably just dismantle the door and check out if there is anything making these footsteps or if it's just a... <laughs> okay, there's definitely something. Holy shit. Oh, it's one of these tentacle things. I think? Okay, it's daytime almost. Uh oh. This is really bad. Fuck me! Um, moth, I guess. <laughs> Let me through. Go fuck yourself. Uh oh. No. <gasps> Holy shit, man. Holy shit. I would have to run out here. Just so, oh my god, that was terrible. <sighs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. That was really, really close. Why did the weapon not reload, man? Ugh. Okay. So that's why the Banshees are horrible, because they can corner you and basically, like, peck you to death or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Phew. Wait, I found a key. Can I open this door now? No, I, I think at some point you can. That's also really awesome. Like all these footsteps from the Wolfman after he stole your stuff. Holy shit! Really cool. Okay. Uh, wow, that really got me. I'm getting too old for this shit. Okay, I can sell this and that. The, no, wait. Put this in my little hidey hole. Um, I think I already have a bunch of bear traps there. Wait, can I make one? Like, oh, I can make a torch. Because this poison shit, if you don't get rid of it, it can, you know, in the worst case, there spawns another poison next to it, and then uh, you're surrounded by poison, which is a really bad thing. Do I have more nails? No. I only want to ever have to just barricade one thing at a time whenever night falls. So... Oh wait, now that the door is open, I can drag this stupid chair outside.
There you go, chair. to the vendor wait first let's put the shells away lantern I should also put away in my hidey hole so I have a shotgun I can actually put the flashlight away because I don't need it right now. Hmm. Let's go to the wait. No, I don't need it. Let's see. Sell that. Buy pills. Buy ammo. Wait, I don't need pistol anymore pistol ammo anymore. Um, oh, a battery. Nice. Rags. Also more wood. More nails. Um, and a little bit more wood. Oops. A little bit more wood. Nice. Okay. Put the rags away. The shells away. Fill that up. I I think lanterns are better. So let's put the flashlight away since I have at least two lanterns. Mm. I was like thinking like where's my hunting rifle? There it is. Have one more bullet. Put the pills away. These away. I still don't have any alcohol. Can't make bandages. Okay. So. Um, the next day. I will go to the sawmill. Do the quest. I think... I am stand still while you do the quest. So that shouldn't be too bad for the overall daytime. And after I've dealt with a wolfman, I will probably have to clear my inventory on the hideout, go to the mushroom glade, uh, give the. well, rescue the kid, which I've already done, but I guess I have to talk to the kid so it, it, it goes away or something. I have no idea. Um, talk to the elephant people and go to the village because that is the final area. Um, I don't think I have to go to the village earlier. And that will be the next video, I guess. So, I am done with this one. Is there anything else I want to do for preparation? Yeah, put the wood away. So, yeah. <sighs> But yeah, the wolf thing is really, really cool. You can die there pretty easily because uh, the wolf man really hates you now, which is uh, kind of terrible. But uh, I still want to risk it because I really like that quest. Uh, let me think. There is a special tactic how you can do that quest without being in too much risk of dying. But I can't remember right now. Anyway, it doesn't matter. If I die, I die. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, let me save. I'm talking to these freaks. Whoops. Oh yeah, uh, put the wood away, I guess. Yoink. Yoink. Alright. Nice and cleaned up my inventory. Talk to them one more time. Alright. So yeah, this is it for this video. I thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.